Dan Ponder, head designer for Dan Post, is with us today. And what we're going to talk about, Dan, as you know, we're going to talk about finishes and leathers today and how they constitute into what, I don't want to call it men's fashion, but this is one heck of a look going on right here. It sure is. This product has been extremely successful for us. Um, the, the treatments on the leathers were, you know, say a product like this, it's done with heavy waxes and oils. It's done on the smooth side of the skin and it's plated and pressed to give these great highs and lows. And as you work the leather, it changes again as it goes through the factory. So, okay, okay, let's slow down here one second. So you're saying that basically you buy the leather and then they, they pour all the wax and the, and the oils into the leather and they use a heat press that, that, that kind of bakes it into it? It, it bakes it into it and then with the highs and lows of the thickness of the leather, you get different contrasts. So instead of uh, making a boot, you're actually baking a boot. You're baking a boot. That's <laughs> all I, I don't take this as a cooking show, like, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> but that is definitely, it's you know. A, it's a super unique piece of to, leather. To be able to come up with the textures in some of these leathers, at, I mean, it's almost like an aged it, version of a boot. I mean, it gives it somewhat of a distressing some kind of to that it. good, bad, and the ugly type of, uh, exactly. you know, the, the, the Clint Eastwood type of, of you look. You know, what it reminds what me of is, is going to the closet and pulling out a boot that's 30, 40, 50 years old, but it's a brand new it's a boot. It's a brand new boot, But it just right. looks so comfortable. And Rugged, and, and, distressed look to it. Definitely. So what do you call this, for, this leather this, on this This part? leather's called Tan Puma. Tan Puma, okay. And then the toe on this, I, you know, I gotta lend this, you know, even in some of the guys jeans, you're seeing a little bit wider bottoms, uh, you know, uh, sure. leg openings. And this snip toe, isn't that what you call this? Yep. Snip yep. toe kind of lends itself a little bit more to the fashion side, it, a little faster. Does. Let's just it, say it's that a, guy's it's a, little be a little faster look. That's right. Definitely. That's right. What a cool leather. Now, in these both of these boots, this has your traditional Dan Post cushion comfort system correct there, right correct. okay all correct. right it's called our ultimate flex insole gotcha all right i'm gonna move this one over a little bit because this definitely we've actually done quite a few we've tried to do some makeups with this leather this what do you what do you call this it is called tan el paso okay and this is kind of a almost a reverse concept of what the tan puma is is where you're using the flesh side of the animal um, and and doing the same concepts and all to it, but you get a much more open look to the leather. So you're saying it's it's the rough outside, the rough the, outside, what, what, the suede. Well, to, the, so wow, and yeah. you can't even tell that that's actually no, a the, suede type product because I guess the oils and waxes just compress. They it all they down. just mat it all down and press it all down and. Uh, and again, because of the highs and lows of the texture of the leather, you get a very unique pattern to it. And you can see the, the wax highlights in it uh -huh. um, down, down to the flesh side of the skin. Sure. So you get a lot of variation in it. Let's it talk gives about, a very unique look. Yeah, let's talk about the stitch pattern because that's, that's another thing that uh, actually we're starting to experiment even more and more. Not experiment anymore because you're, you're selling it. You're selling you it. Know, you're selling it. And what you call the vamp stitch. Right. right. Which is just basically taking a stitch pattern and putting it on the foot of the boot. Right? Exactly. And in this case, this is what we call our falcon stitch, which is on the vamp of the boot, also on the heel counter, as well as the top. I'll turn that around. And uh, actually... it gives you a, a really neat, neat effect. In fact, I own a pair of these myself. And with the closet and variety of boots, uh, or that the closet full that have. I have in my house, <laughs> I, can only I get, imagine, I get more compliments and more comments about that boot than anything else really? I own. Really? And I don't know if it's basically the finish or the, the vamp stitch, but it's probably both it's, if it's I'm a com guessing. It's a combination of everything, the style, the toe, the leather, the stitching, um, but it's a very unique boot. Yeah, Dan Post casual men's collection, can we call it that? There we can call go. it whatever yeah. we want, as long as it sells. <laughs> right, right here on Shopping Western Style, Dan Post men's boots, what a great selection. You'll save $30 on the Dan Post men's fashion El Paso boots at pfiwestern.com.